What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're going to be cruising some roads in South Mississippi looking for snakes. Now this area is particularly difficult for snakes. In fact, if we get more than one today, I will be absolutely thrilled. The roads are rough, the habitat is great, and tonight is one of the first warm nights of the year. So hopefully we end up seeing something. Let's go. Searching back roads through South Mississippi for snakes is something that I do quite often. In this spring season, I'm on the lookout for the eastern coral snake, a species of snake that hasn't been seen in this region in many decades. With the weather warming up, snakes will be on the move. Unfortunately, this means they'll also be getting onto the roads. Got something here. I think it's a dead snake, though. Is that a rattlesnake? Please don't get a Oh, it's a copperhead. That sucks. Let's take a look at this real quick. Have a look at this. Very mutilated but fresh copperhead he ain't gonna be twitching don't do this if you see a dead venomous snake in the road don't go and touch it i know what i'm doing not gonna happen nothing's gonna happen but that is a dead copperhead dead viper people actually swerve to hit snakes out here and that looks pretty mutilated this is fresh this is actually probably in the last couple hours because we did pass this road so real shame real bummer would love to see the snake alive but we're gonna get it off the road as to where nothing comes out and eats it like another snake foxes they'll just come to there and eat it and not get hit by a car sucks to see but hopefully we'll be able to help some snakes off the road tonight that are still alive in most of the south people swerve to hit snakes so we gotta cover ground in order to get to them before a car does as night falls nocturnal species are gonna be on the move including this little red belly snake yo is that a tantilla oh, okay it's not that's a red belly snake that's still a special snake for out here. Look at how tiny they are. We've actually featured these snakes on the channel before, but they're an incredibly rare snake in longleaf pine forests. So that's really cool to see. Look at him whipping his little head. Look at that. I thought this was the last fossorial snake that I needed for here to have seen them all, which is a uh, southeastern crown snake. Tantilla is another name for it. They're a centipede snake. But uh, that's not what this is. It is another little fossorial snake though. They look very similar. It's got a little red belly. You can see obviously why they're called red belly snake there. They will get a good bit bigger than this, maybe three or four times this size. So this is a very small snake. Like I'm not gonna say that it's just this tiny because of its species. Like it's still a small red belly. These things are very difficult to spot. In fact, I've actually missed them before and had people follow up and say, hey, you just passed up a red belly snake. So they are, incredibly small but they've got a really cool face their head doesn't look like really many other snakes they are fossorial so they've been spending a lot of time underground they like to come out after light rains which it actually did rain a little bit today and with this warmer weather i'd have to guess that he'd be looking for a place to go and hunt really really cool species not one that i'm going to be seeing often out here especially because the habitat is so dense and spotting them in the road is hard enough too so really finding a red belly snake anywhere in here is pretty cool very special little snake. We're gonna go ahead and put him back and keep looking for more, but that is awesome. All right, see a little red belly snake. That's awesome. Get off the road, bud. All right, I see red, what are you? Okay, I don't need the tiny snake though. <laughs> that is a Scarlet King, baby. Look at that, Woohoo! Mississippi Scarlet King. That is insane, look at how gorgeous that snake is. This is one of three tricolor species that live in this part of South Mississippi. Now, one of the tricolors, the Eastern Coral Snake, hasn't been seen here in quite a few decades, but hopefully we're gonna change that soon. Now, Scarlet King Snakes are an incredibly elusive species. In fact, we got to see my first one in this state in the fall. We got to see our first one in Louisiana this past summer. And we got to see our first one in Florida last winter. So, four Scarlet Kings ever. Of course, it's really because I never used to spend a lot of time in this snake's habitat. They really love longleaf pine forests, and of course, we're in longleaf right now. There are some exceptions to that. They will live in hardwood biomes, but overall, if you're in pine forest, that's where these guys are going to be. The bands go all around the body. I mean, what can you say about that king snake? They eat other snakes. They eat lizards. Heck, they'd probably eat a smaller scarlet king, and you can see every scarlet king looks distinct. They all look different. The last one we found in Mississippi was a high black. It didn't have any broken bands. This one has two broken bands. High, high red is a bump smaller. Hello, bud. You're a cutie. 
Now these snakes are going to be spending a lot of their time underground, but uh, this time of year they're going to start coming up, they're going to be cruising out at night, they're a very nocturnal snake, but they'll go in burrows, underground and stuff like that for a lot of the daytime. They'll also be up in pine stumps, they'll pretty much live in kind of any cover that they have, but obviously in pine forest you're going to have pine stumps to live in and underground sandier habitat. Have a look at that, the face on that thing though, look at it, that is just gorgeous absolutely stunning little baby there look at that Woohoo! Mississippi Scarlet King well as you can see this snake has had about enough of me as it is biting me it's okay stop it no let go are you done okay there you go <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get this snake off the road. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out some of the other ones we've done with tricolors in the past. They're always really special snakes, always really special finds. And we will see you guys next time. Alright, go ahead and get off the road. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. You almost look like a coral. Get out of here.